So I want to tell you a quick story. I was having a chat yesterday with a program director for a program we're doing on privacy in healthcare. It's a really fascinating program um, on, on protecting patient records and what is technology doing to the way we hold those records and what happens when we lose them. And we were thinking of keynote speakers and I thought of Ian Kerr. Um, and he, you know, this brilliant ethicist, um, legal expert guy. He has been thinking about this stuff for ages. He's just so clever and smart and has written such fascinating things and done so many projects in this area. Uh, and also he is the nicest guy in the world. Um, a long time ago, um, when things were really dark for me, I was, I was his research assistant. Um, and that wasn't what was making things dark. I mean, he was a fantastic person to work for. Um, but yeah, things got pretty gross. Uh, and he came to visit me in hospital and brought me nibs and Wired Magazine and chatted with me as if I was human uh, and later provided reference to my first professional job, which is the reason why I'm able to sit here having this conversation about this, this really interesting program that we're putting together. So I'm kind of smiling and saying to my program director how wonderful it is that we should invite him, that he would just be perfect. Um, and also that he's the nicest guy. And that's when we find out that the day before, uh, Ian Kerr had uh, uh, died of cancer. So, appreciate them while you got them. Uh, I never really had the chance to tell him what a difference he made in my life. Uh, and he made an enormous difference with some very simple kindnesses, but big ones. So, um, Never forget to, to realize that small kindnesses can make huge differences in people's lives and also that uh, uh, just, just know that Ian was amazing uh, and the world is dimmer without him in it, but he brightened it immeasurably. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I missed you, Ian.